just getting ready to make a video on checking out the bees. It's been about a week since I've done that. And of course it wants to rain now. So thankfully the rain only lasted about 30 minutes tops. So I can attend to the bees a little bit. I I don't know if you saw any of my last videos, but I bought a nuke and I decided to feed them some syrup and that attracted ants. So I put the legs of the hive stand in these feeder bowls that I use for various critters, but I'm not really into that because they're too big, I guess, and I'm finding a lot of, unfortunately, dead bees floating around in them. So I'm going to replace those with something smaller. Hopefully they'll work as well as these larger ones. Um, I fill them with water and a little bit of corn oil. And I haven't had an ant since I've done that. No surprise there. But I'm not happy at all with the um, loss of, of bees. And as I said in one of my last videos, all bee lives matter. So I'm going to use my Cub Cadet trimmer. I'm going to trim this all down and I'm going to put the shallow. Um, they're actually like a Tupperware thing that I bought and the feet should be covered and I'll fill them with plain water and hopefully I won't, I won't cost any more bees their lives. Okay, that's done, and the bees were not happy, as you could possibly imagine. So now I'm going to take these really small dollar store Tupperware knockoffs and put them under each foot. My understanding ants are pretty poor swimmers as long as they don't have a bridge to cross. My $39 bee suit, Amazon of course. So let's start breaking down this box and see what we've got. Now this top box I've only used as a feeder and I used a couple of rolls of masking tape to keep everything in and out so to speak. So let's get rid of that. And that apparently is working. This was actually full last weekend when I put it out here. And if you don't mess with it, it doesn't drip. So they've consumed about half of this bottle. Mm. Not quite a half. But because this was a, um, a new nuke, I wanted to make sure that they weren't starving to death. And that particular syrup is a one-to-one -one ratio, sugar plus water. None of this, for the most part, was here last week, which is pretty cool. So they're definitely working at it. We're going to start with an end because this was completely new and undrawn. 
pretty much just like it is now. And as I said, I'm really skeptical as to whether or not there's a queen in here. This next frame was new undrawn last week and they're not paying too much attention to it and it could be a lack of colony population. And we'll grab the next one. And these guys are so docile. Okay, they're definitely working on this one. This one was new as well. So they're starting to draw this one out. And I'm not sure if you all can see that. But they're definitely working at it. I just wish I could see a queen. But we're going to try and do the next best thing and, and look for some... Uh, some some new um, brood. Yeah, I can't find my hive tool, so a flat tip screwdriver is the next best thing. Well, I have to admit, it looks like there's a lot more bees in here than there were last week when I checked this. So hopefully, we're going to find some recently laid eggs, like in the last day or so. Come on, guys, I don't want to hurt you. Wow, this, is, this one's really heavy. Boy, there's a lot of cat brood in here. A little bit of honey up top. And I'm looking for the queen. And I'm still not seeing one. A lot of cat brood. Some honey up here, over in this side. But for the most part, I'm actually feeling a little better with all this cat brood. There must be a queen hiding in here somewhere. Some more honey up top here on both sides, but cat brood in the center. I see larva that hasn't been capped yet, but I'd really like to see some recently laid eggs. There's got to be a queen hiding in here somewhere. There's just too much. This is a lot more capped brood than there was last week. So hopefully it's the work of a queen. Pull out the next one. And I've been working with these guys for a couple of weeks now and I've yet to have to use smoke. The first time I, I actually did use a little smoke, but um, these guys are so cool, I don't really see a reason. More cat brood, more honey up here in the corners. Running down the side on this one, they've got a lot of uncapped honey. But this is the third or fourth time I've been in here, and again, I've not seen a queen. Okay, this looks like they're just working on honey. Still looking for the queen, still not seeing one. I don't see any queen cells. Boy, I'm just not seeing the queen and that's a little disturbing. I'm not seeing any brand new eggs, but I'm seeing a whole lot more cat brood. There's a whole bunch of uncapped larvae down in this area here. But where is my queen? All 
All right, we have to reevaluate our setup here. Watch out, guys. I don't want nobody to get hurt. Even though the lifespan of a bee is extremely short, each one is important to me. So let's grab the next frame. Have a little peeksies. Yeah, boy, there's a lot of cat brood, a lot of honey in the corners. And this is what I would expect to see if there was definitely a queen in here. But I just don't understand why after all the times I've had this open, well, not a lot, but I just haven't seen a queen. So they're working on drawing out this frame. It's basically empty, but they're working on drawing it out. get the next one and the last three over here I just put in this was a five frame nuke let me see one two three four okay these two I put in um, a week or so after I brought them home and transferred them into this box from their their nuke yeah look at all that cat brood Still no real sign of queen cells. And still no sign of a queen. But it really looks like there's a lot more bees in here than there were. And again, we've got honey up in the corners. And no queen cells on this frame. Okay, so we'll yank out the next one. Oh, you know what? This is another blank that I put in here, and they're starting to draw this one out. I see comb. No queen cells on this side. And boy, this $39 Amazon bee suits, the cat's butt. This is, uh, I haven't gotten stung once since I've been messing with this particular colony. Okay, this side they're kind of ignoring. There's just not enough bees to work it that hard. And I've still yet to see a queen. I'm actually looking for uh, Varroa mites as well. And I don't see any in here at all, which is a good thing, obviously. I don't see any wax moths. So either I'm lucky or these guys are strong enough to uh, take care of what they're doing. And I'm going to guess the last two frames are going to be fairly empty. And these are new frames, new to this hive. And we're going to pull out the last one. Now they're starting to draw this far side out because this, this was just the plastic comb, but they're definitely drawing it out up here. But unfortunately, I still don't see a queen. Careful, guys. Well, I got to look one more time because I really, really want to find the queen. Haven't seen her yet since I've had this nuke. I contacted the guy that I got this nuke from, and he said there was definitely a queen in here when he split his hive. 
but I've never met him before. He seemed like a nice guy. Definitely knew what he was talking about. But I just don't know how honest he was. And I don't see any super fresh eggs, you know, the little piece of rice kind of thing that you're looking for. So yeah, I'm just not convinced that there's a queen in here. Unless she's in this area. Nah, they're just making honey up here and working at it big time. I mean, I'm looking hard for a queen or for some day-old eggs. I'm just not sure where all this capped um, brood is coming from. I mean, I'm going to have to assume there's a queen in here somewhere. Jeez, I just wish I could find her. That would make me feel so much better. And again, there's no queen cells. And all the honey they're, they're working on up here, and then the brood cells are down here. And I really, really believe there's a whole lot more bees in here than there was last week. But you know, they say seeing is believing. I'm not from Montana or anything where it's the show me state. But boy, I feel like I ought to be. No pun intended. Boy, that could actually be a queen cell just getting started there now that the bees are off right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's perpendicular to the rest of the comb. I don't see anything inside of it at this point. It's empty. Yeah, doggone it. I wish I could find the queen. Yeah, this frame is really heavy. This is the last one. A lot of honey in here. I gotta admit, man, this really sucks. I wanted to see this queen in here doing her thing. And this veil, my eyes want to focus on the veil more than what's outside of it. So it's, I don't know if that's a newly laid egg right in here. Or if just something in the in the um, chamber. This is basically all honey so far. Maybe a little bit of brood up on this top uh, inside corner, but still no sign of a queen. I wish he would have marked her. He said he that the queen was not marked. He just split the hive, put the ad up for uh, nukes for sale. And it was so late in the season that I just went ahead and got it. And I kind of knew that I may be in trouble as far as um, there being a queen in here. He actually asked me if he wanted to open the hive, so or the nuke that is, so that I could see the queen. But it was a long drive to get there. It was over an hour away. 
and I, I just took his word for it. So I put my faith in his integrity, and, um, well, I don't know. Like I said, man, there's a lot of cat brooding here. I see larvae everywhere that's not capped yet, but I just don't see any fresh eggs. And I, if I saw one fresh egg, I'd be very, very happy. But in here, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, there's a boatload of larvae in here. Uncapped. So we, we definitely have an increase in population. There's no doubt about that. But like I keep crying, I just wish I could see the queen. So maybe we'll give it another week. I'll check it next week, see what it looks like. And before I push a panic button and start looking to buy a queen, I will, um, I'll give it another week, yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. This is another heavy frame. It's probably like 70 pounds. No, I'm just kidding, but it's heavy. Well, I guess we're done with today's inspection. So far, knock wood, we haven't damaged a single bee. That I'm aware of anyway. This is kind of peculiar the way they're drawing this out. It's kind of like they're making islands. So maybe these are going to develop into uh, queen cells, especially this one down here. I'm not 100% sure. I've seen bees do some crazy things. And yeah, blank, blank. Watch out, guys. one, which is basically blank blank as well. Little interest in it, but I want that queen. Yeah, I just don't see her anywhere. All right, guys, close it up. They actually started to seal up the, uh, the tape roll that I have up here. And I just want to let this stop dripping before I put it back on. I have a screen bottom board, so it'll drain right through, but I don't want to make their life any more miserable. Go 
Mom's hoodie in the way. Actually, I'm going to turn this over. It seals better this way. Yeah, that's better. Now put the top back on. Make sure nobody's stuck in there. And there's not. So, I guess that's it for today. For the bees, anyway. And again, man, I'm kind of distraught that I haven't yet found a queen. We've got our guard bees out here doing their thing. Actually, it's pretty warm and humid right now. They're doing a lot of fanning. So, that storm that just passed, these guys are a little active. But uh, again, this suit and their temperament, I guess, I've, I've not been stung once. So I can't complain. It is what it is, and we'll just keep an eye on this. I think if there's no queen in here next week, when I look and I'm really gonna put some effort into finding her, um, then I'm gonna order a queen, depending on what the, uh, the hive looks like. If there's a queen cell in there, I may just let it ride and see what happens. But uh, all that cat brood, man, I just don't get it. Yeah, I know, I guess they say a drone lays eggs or something, but there's a lot of cat brood in there. There's more than there was last week. So we will uh, we'll keep checking and keep you guys updated. If you're interested, you guys have a great day. Oh, and I'm probably going to do a video on smoking some, uh, some pork, boneless uh, ribs, if there is such a thing. But um, I think we're going to do that today very shortly. So you guys, thanks, and have a great day. Talk soon.